Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your host that creepy reading and today we got some kinetic information and other magical stuff like that Um, I'm sorry. I do not have a rancid fitting music today I am working on changing the format a bit working with my uh, good friend I hate everything which I'll have a link to his channel in the description and essentially I've been working on him with a video all week and that's been slowing video production a bit but you know that's 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 okay that's okay because you're gonna get a great video called I hate creepy pastas and it's gonna be fun everyone's gonna have a fun old time and hopefully you guys will be entertained by that but I guess the reason why I'm making this video is to create something more like a video log without having to show my magical beautiful face that looks like a child molester so why would I be doing that what am I doing okay so essentially, I was thinking in my bed, and I was like, I gotta produce a video today, because I didn't do it last week or the week before, on Sunday, because I am a lazy bastard. So, got me to thinking about school, which is tomorrow, as some of you may know, for Michigan. And, well, I kind of got thinking on how this YouTube channel actually impacted my life and all that fun stuff. And honestly, it didn't really impact it that much if, if, if well I think about it on the objective level of talking about friends and real life and school classmates teachers all that stuff I got a channel with almost 40,000 subscribers now thank you very much yet for some reason um, whenever I talk to other people about it it's just like oh that's uh, that's interesting and I guess when I was younger I, I figured that you know, having a popular YouTube channel will probably absolve me from any kind of hate, bullying, or anything like that. But that isn't really the case. In fact, if anything, my YouTube channel was the only thing that was attracting more bullying last year than anything else. Because I started putting my name out there and people thought that instead of saying, Oh, that's cool. It's more like, Oh, that kid's making monies off the internet. Let's go be a doucher, McBag. And... I, I guess fame is really subjective. Um, sure, I do get random people at me on Skype all the time who, you know, are rather interesting people and I have enjoyed talking to them. But in real life, I mean, like, in your mind, yeah, fuck it, I have a popular YouTube channel, but most people are either one, gonna can treat you completely differently than they used to, either in a good or negative light, in a polar opposite way where you would just wish you didn't know the person, or two, they're not gonna react any differently, which in reality is the, I guess, preferred term depending on your relationship with said person. Like, for an example, I'll talk to a girl I have never talked to ever before, right? And she's like, oh, 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 so, uh, so what, what do you do? I don't go like, oh, um, I, I make YouTube videos on the internet. It's like, oh, cool, cool. Do you make any money? Uh, yeah, yeah, about 500 a month or so, something like that. Oh, really? Now, that's nice. I want to be your friend, even though I clearly showed no fucking interest about 10 minutes ago. And in my mind, I can't get past the fact that the person showed no interest in talking or getting to know me up until that point. Or you get someone, you know, who wants to be a snarky asshole in classes go like, Hey, produce any videos today? And I'll be like, no, uh, you need to ask that? Can you fuck off? Do you, do you, what the fuck? Do, do, go into your naughty corner! You know? And those are usually the two types of responses I get. And the only reason I make this vlog is because I find myself in the unique position of being, well, a rather young person with a rather successful channel. I don't know many people who are 17 or younger who still go to high school who actually make videos and actually got past like say 20k subs. And usually subs I guess don't matter. I mean like I never really use them as a way of validating my worth. But it's interesting to have, and it's interesting to see this experiment happen. Even with th fame, I still have all the same problems I used to have, i.e. people either show no interest or way too much interest. But I guess the unique problem with being, you know, having the YouTube popularity, not famous, not by any means. And if I am famous, I'm clearly not making enough money for what I'm doing. But 
you know, I, I get I get this new unique issue is that now it's not just people who hate me for the sake of hating me. It's now people who love me because of the content I create rather than the person that I am. And I, I don't know how to feel about that. And for those of you, because I know my audience is between the ages of 12 and 24, you know, who most of my audience is probably safe to bet are in high school. Um, I can probably, you probably would think that having this kind of thing would probably make your life better as I used to th think myself. But in reality, it only creates more problems and it basically makes like, the only people I really can find I relate to anymore even is uh, other content creators. And my school seems to be devoid of that because, you know, Detroit is a piece of shit. And, you know, other content creators are usually the only people I can relate with because, you know, they understand what it's like, you know. Um, we, it's not like there's this dichotomy where people look up to you or simply look down on you. And for some reason, people will hate other people just because they make a video that they just don't have any interest in. Which is kind of stupid to think about it. If I were to make a video and I were to say, Breaking Bad is the best TV mix show I ever saw and here's why. If someone happened to disagree with that viewpoint, they will do everything in their power to fuck with me. Leave dislikes, start trolling my uh, Twitch, all that kind of thing. And it's absolutely ridiculous because you gotta think about it like, what the hell, you know? Why would you hate someone because they created a video? Why can't people just be like, oh, I, I guess I just won't click on the video that disagrees with my viewpoint, or I'll watch the video, it's interesting. I mean, like, I saw um, a video done by, again, my friend I Hate Everything, link in the description, and he had a video called um, I Hate Bronies. I found his views rather interesting. I can't say I agree with them, but I see why he holds them, and I understand his perspective on things. But the majority of people see that post, and they will be like, Aah! and that's not, the, the YouTube is a fickle little thing. Uh, commenters can turn on you in half a second, and for next to no reason because they're on the internet and because they are such of a young age. And I guess I can understand that. I mean, like, I understand, well, I don't really understand why to do it, but I understand why that immaturity can lead to that. But it's kind of a sad thing, and it brings down YouTube as a general whole and makes the comment section rather volatile. Again, there are people who sit there and attack my good friend Tats from Tats Top Videos because he made a video called Top 12 Rules of Tats Top Videos. Where he's basically saying, hey, if you don't do these things, you won't get removed from the comment section. Because the fact is, is that we get people who spoil shit in the comment section. We get people who spam fake gay, you know, in the comment section. We get people who basically harass and threaten rape in the comment section, you know, and all that fun stuff. And essentially the rules isn't saying, you better listen to us. It's saying, if you do this, you're gonna get banned from our channel. This isn't a uh, 4chan message board where you can be this anonymous asshole and do whatever you want without consequence. And the people seem to forget that, again, we are the YouTube content creators and we have to moderate that stuff because YouTube could physically get on our back if we get too much reports about um, awful commenters being douchebags others on our channel. It's our job to moderate that. And people think that you know, YouTube is some type of 4chan message board and then they get all pissed off when they get removed from the greater whole. That's, that's, to me, that just, just seems fucked up. Just don't, if, if you're a YouTube commenter, just don't be a jackass. Don't be Joseph Luke. Don't be a troll. You can troll on 4chan. There's many other websites you can do it, you know? Telling people that they should get raped. Telling someone that you, they should get their faggot ass beat. Saying this or that is going too far. It's not funny. 
and it's ridiculous. So rather, you know, I dealing with trolling slash bullying on the internet or trolling slash bullying on at home, my popularity as a YouTube channel has done little to affect it. The only thing that's really done is attract people who simply like my content and confuse my content for myself, and they uh, cannot um, separate the uh, content creator from the content creator's content. And there's this dichotomy where like, I don't want to talk to the person because the only reason why they're interested in me is because I made a video that they like. And yeah. So I guess this was my little vlog uh, update, um, magical mythical person of interest slash diabetes fetus. And I hope you enjoyed. This is your host, That Creepy Reading. Like, favorite, and subscribe. It'll definitely help me out a lot. I don't mean to beg, but fuck it, I gotta do what I gotta do. And if you enjoyed any of the opinions here or would like to debate them in the comment section, you may go do that. I will be responding as much as I humanly possibly can to those of you who decide to actually listen to any of my points I decided to make. Because you are beautiful people, I think. Except for you. You are a bad person. I know what you did last Friday night. This has been your host, That Creep Reading, and I'm signing off.